Okay, today I'm standing at the back of my Rivian with the uh, Rivian outlets turned on as well as this um, battery generator power supply, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have a Tesla mobile connector and I have the Rivian portable charger. Um, the Rivian portable charger is showing a red light. It is in an air state. It will not work right now. The Tesla mobile connector is doing the same. We should see that red T. If you can see it turning blinking red there. They are not happy. That is due to ground problems. If you have a battery bank like this and you've tried to plug in any mobile charger and you're not getting it to work, what you need is a neutral ground bonding plug. Um, I purchased this one from Amazon. This just ties the ground and the neutral pin together. Um, so if I plug this, into this battery bank and just wait a few seconds now the tesla charger is happy now that mobile connector will work and will charge a car at a level one rate approximately 12 amps 120 volts uh, that's all it takes now if i unplug it and we wait and it almost immediately goes back into an error state so it just wants to see a happy ground and neutral uh, this this plug will do the job now, I can't do the same thing on the Rivian. If I plug this, the Rivian has another power outlet up under the, or behind the center console up front. Um, if I plug this into that, the Rivian will go into a fault state because it has a, um, basically a GFCI circuit. Uh, so the Rivian will turn off its outlets if I, if I do plug this in and plug in the portable charger. Um, it doesn't hurt the Rivian, it just turns the outlets off. You can turn them off and turn them back on again. Uh, so what you have to do is create something like I've created here. This is an extension cord and I put a new end on it where I have jumped on the receptacle side, the neutral and the ground together, and the ground coming from this side um, is not connected to anything. So this wire is, is, is cut up here and is not connected and the neutral and the ground are, are connected together. So I'm gonna unplug this, plug in my homemade adapter. I don't recommend making that unless you understand exactly what I've just said. But if I plug that in, now the charger will go through its little startup sequence. And now we have a solid white light. This setup, this portable charger will now work and I can charge another vehicle at level one speeds. Again, approximately 12 amps, 120 volts. It's not very fast, but that is how you get these mobile connectors to work.